sitting here for an hour. No, this uh, Costco is always so Costco. freaking busy. So, busy. <laughs> so if you ever come to Costco, just be prepared to be waiting around for everyone to park. water company that you guys always see at like Walmart or whatever we're picking up right now going to Grandview Washington are they in there or are they walking they're walking in there <laughs> that'll be at Easter day 7 a.m. so we're gonna drop off the Walmart run like at midnight so I'll do that and head to Pasco and be there at 7 a.m. And in order to go there, we gotta get a scale ticket, an empty scale ticket. Just don't even feel like recording today, so I don't even really know what else I'm going to record. So we'll see. They ended up making us swap a loads with another driver. And it just, it's, it's really, it's not that smart. It's not, it was just dumb. Basically, we got loaded. This driver, he, I guess, was supposed to get loaded, didn't get loaded. Now his load isn't ready until six. Now we have to, now we gotta give him our load because we have more hours. We have to pick up his at 6 p.m. Same place we just left. Same exact place. Head to Walmart in Washington. Just a bunch of bull crap, honestly. They called, and the way they made it seem is like, oh, his loads do at six. That wasn't the case at all, and we got the short end of the stick, and that's just what happens sometimes in trucking. It just is what it is. Let's go. It's nine o'clock right now, and we're just now leaving. We ended up coming back at like six o'clock, and they told us that. The load wasn't ready to come back at 8. No, it's probably 10 o'clock right now. We came back at 8. They still didn't really understand what was going on. Earlier, they loaded us. As, they started loading us at 3 p.m. And then they called us and told us that we had to leave. And they're like, but we're already getting loaded. And they literally unloaded the trailer. It was just a mess. Now I'm just like kind of annoyed these small runs like this like these hundred mile runs there's always something wrong my coffee is frozen solid <laughs> and this load's heavy as crap that I was at last night that you see me stop at and 
I really need fuel, so I have to get gas right now. I'm just like super kind of annoyed about this whole load still. I don't know, it's just like, it's weird. Also, another thing is, is these people that were like, the customer service people that we, we were talking to the entire time we were there are based out of Macedonia, which is even in the United States. So that doesn't even make any sense. I am so lost, I don't know. I don't freaking get it. gotta go inside and get a empty scale ticket so let's go grab it I already got on the scale the place that we go makes us print these out and bring them just because the loads are so heavy that like they have to know how much weight they can load you with and the great thing is is we have a full tank of gas so normally we don't we have like a empty tank when we go or something so that's awesome. And it's a mile down the road, so I'm going to head there. Alright, I just came out here to just like record just a little bit. So we just got here to easter day and we're picking up onions our load we're supposed to like check in at like 7 a.m this place is like first come first serve so everyone wakes up kind of at the same time you can park here and then you just go check in and um yeah that's it right now i'm just gonna go lay down take a nap with carriage and then um we'll probably go get dutch bros in the morning we're gonna head to arizona and I'm super glad because the load that we had last night just took it out of us. Like, the carriage is not in a good mood about it at all. It definitely left a bad taste in his mouth. So, I will update you guys later.